hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Kotsen and I'm Dennis and today what we're going to do is a one-click application install of CyberPanel with open light speed on a digital ocean DPS server so what we need to do first is go ahead and go up to uh, uh, open a tab and go to digitalocean.com it'll bring you into a screen go ahead and log in if you got an account if you haven't just go ahead in It'll bring you to a screen like this so what we need to do we're going to go down here to marketplace and get the one click install application go to search type cyber panel and as you can tell when it pops up we're going to bring you to this screen now this cyber panel is going to be installing on the ubuntu 20.04 operating system and it's going to be installing cyber panel version 2.11 Okay, you need to go over here to create Cyber Panel Droplet. Go ahead and create. And it's going to bring you back to this page where we can pick our plan. I'm picking the basic plan. Of course, you could pick whatever you want, but all we need is the basic. And you got three options regular Intel, premium Intel, or premium AMD. Now, all three options are great. They all do the job. And the premium Intel or premium AMD is basically a higher clock speed. Both be better performance. But for this tutorial, I'm picking the premium Intel. And all I'm picking is their lowest cost one is the $6 a month. This is pretty good plan. It's all you need for a uh, small website or multiple small websites. So when you get through with that, Go to your data center region. Pick whichever is closer to you, your audience, or clients. I'm leaving mine on New York. And I'm going to click monitoring in IPv6. Of course, I'm going to create my own passcode. Go down to where it says basically host name. Create a host name. And you can put whatever you want into the field. I'm just going to just click cyber panel and go ahead and create droplet. And DigitalOcean will go ahead and start spinning up this droplet. And it shouldn't take but a, just a few minutes. I'll be back with you. Okay, as you can tell, we already got CyberPanel installed. Or the droplet for CyberPanel. As you can tell, it's got the CyberPanel symbol. And now what we need to do is go to Terminal. If you haven't been to Terminal, you can go up to the little search icon. If you're on Windows, of course, you can use PuTTY. Uh, terminal which is p-u-t-t-y dot org and when you get into here go ssh root at go back to your cyber panel droplet and click the ip address go back over to your terminal and right click paste click enter it'll ask you do you trust this host we're going to say yes and we're going to do enter our passcode now the passcode here is the same one you just set up for instance and click it and it should go through the cyber panel has been installed of course you see it's showing everything about mine that's going and it tells you these different uh, rain loop my PHE cyber panel everything that's got in there that you will need so if you want to copy this or whatever and place it into a text doc you can it says do you wish to update the system now? It would update the server. We're going to click yes. All right, we got through getting it all updated, and it just now says enjoy your accelerated cyber panel. So now what we need to do is go click open a new tab, right-click, paste your IP address, and, of course, to get to cyber panel, you got to type in colon 8090, and that'll take you to the login page of cyber panel. And... Of course, you see what takes us to this, where it says your connection isn't private. We got that. We, we know it's not. Just type in, this is unsafe. When you type in, this is unsafe, you see it's spinning up. It's going to take us into the login page in just a sec. There we go. At this time, we're going to type in admin. And, of course, now we don't have the passcode yet. This is how you're going to get the passcode to go into Cyber Panel. Go back to your terminal, and we're going to type in CAT, 
space dot light speed underscore password and click enter and see it generated that passcode gave it to us we can just go ahead and highlight it copy it come back over to your cyber panel and you can always go in and change your passcode later and just click it into there of course it see it's clicking the same thing and click sign in and it'll bring you to the cyber panel dashboard and you've done it you have already installed cyber panel onto your digital ocean vps server